One of the world's most popular soccer franchises just finished up a match at Snapdragon Stadium, giving San Diegans a taste of Premier League football. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcel is off tonight. I'm Jesse Pagan. Manchester United took the pitch this evening against Wrexham, the team actors Ryan Reynolds and Robert McElhenney own. CBSH John Howard joins us here in studio to break down how this friendly match turned out. John? Uh, yeah, very entertaining stuff. Uh, and we're going to show a highlight later in sports that we're not showing here, but let's go to the Dragon and don't be confused by Wrexham with the word United on their jerseys. They're sponsored by United Airlines. Wrexham got on the board first ball setter nicely. Elliot Lee puts it in the underdogs up one nil and then later soccer's version of a double header off a long throw in the header assist the header goal. Aaron Hayding putting it in and that gets the team ownership. <laughs> Rob McElhaney and Ryan Reynolds all pumped up. Manchester United strikes in the final seconds of extra time of the first half. Bruno Fernandez feeds it in. Mark Hirado puts it in. Wrexham would tack one on in the second half and get the win three to one. More on the match, including post game sound with Marcus in the final quarter. But right now, Richard Allen is at Snapdragon Stadium. Richard, how is the atmosphere there tonight? Well, right now, John, people are just trying to get out of here. The game ended about half an hour ago, but as you can see, it's the mad dash to get out of Snapdragon. Thankfully, these footy fans seem to be a very patient bunch as they wait to get out of Snapdragon Stadium. But as you mentioned, underdog Wrexham actually won this match, but the real winner may be all the soccer fans here in San Diego and in the U.S. who didn't have to travel to the U.K. to see this competition. And in fact, we met a lot of soccer fans who traveled from the U.K. here to San Diego saying they did not want to miss this matchup. Yeah, United! Woo! The Santillana family brought their passion for Manchester United and for soccer from the Bay Area here to Snapdragon Stadium. It's just the legacy they've won for so many years. They've had great players and they just have a great team. It's crazy to see how soccer brings so many people around. Like it's the number one sport in the world and honestly always a great atmosphere. The O'Connells came all the way from Ireland just to see Man U as a self-avowed family of fanatics. We love Man United. We went to Old Trafford a few times. So, yeah, we just want to travel as much as we can and see, uh, see the greatest team in the world, really. And while it was clear much of this sold-out audience was here to cheer on Manchester United, there were some fans cheering on Wrexham, the fourth-tier Welsh club now owned by Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, all captured in a new reality show. Just a small town. Uh, it's great to see the story of them, you know, succeeding in England. And it's just a great story, really, a Cinderella story. It's even dividing some families, sort of. Stu and Kathy Dennison from Cincinnati are on opposite teams, but this match provided the perfect gift for a milestone occasion. Manchester United and Wrexham together, it seemed like the best 50th birthday present ever. And for birthday boy Stu, soccer is a family tradition. My father was a United fan, my grandfather was a United fan, and my great-grandfather was Newton Heath before they were Manchester United. So, I mean, it's in my blood. And for Pip and Chris Bootsier from Boise, Idaho, these exhibition games from the UK are helping transform the sport here in the U.S. Well, having these kind of games here in the States just helps grow the game. I coach it and just seeing, you know, the youth get so involved in it, it's just awesome to see. And for those diehard Manchester United fans, they have two more exhibition games here in the U.S. Tomorrow going against Real Madrid in Houston, then against Germany's Dortmund on Saturday in Las Vegas. Also on Friday, Wrexham will be in Pennsylvania. They're going up against Philadelphia Union 2. Jesse and Carlo. All right, Richard Allen covering the first game of its kind sort of in San Diego. Richard, it sounds like people just weren't disappointed, though. E everything they were hoping for. Mm not at all. And in fact, all the people we spoke with and we spoke with people from Boise, Idaho, Cincinnati, Ohio, from Ireland. And one thing all of them mentioned is that they were really impressed with Snapdragon Stadium. For some of them, it was their first time here in San Diego, but it definitely won't be their last. They had a great time. Great stuff showing off San Diego's new toy there mm. in Mission Valley. Richard Allen reporting live for us. Thanks, Richard.